The victim was 55-year-old James O'Connor. The cause is believed to have been careless smoking. Mark Tauschek explains how his loss has left the community focusing on his two teenagers, two teenage daughters. James O'Connor had been parenting his daughters alone, now living without both of their parents. The two girls are the focus of a fundraising campaign by the Woodward Granger School community. At Woodward Granger High School, the school secretary is holding on to $500 in cash and gift cards. I mean, the closet in the principal's office is full of donated clothing and items a teenage girl would need. We're trying to keep everything together so we can sort it and then maybe wrap it or do something with it to, to present it to the family. The senior class at Woodward Granger is donating money out of their senior class fund that they've been accumulating since they were freshmen. And the senior girls are raising money on their own for one of their own. I emailed all the senior girls, and there's probably 25, and I bet all of us throw in $20 a piece, if not more. Lauren O'Connor is a senior at Woodward Granger. Her sister Elena graduated last year. The two sisters lost many of their possessions when their home burned, but that pales to the loss of their father. He was wheelchair bound. There was no way they could have saved him from the fire that apparently started when his cigarette ignited the couch he was sitting on. The O'Connor girls had experienced a different kind of loss just two months ago when they lost their mother to drugs. Jill O'Connor is now serving a 10 year prison sentence in Mitchellville. Their biggest concern isn't really about how they're dealing with the grief. It's it's for compassion and caring about their classmate. Woodward Granger's principal says he's been impressed with how much has been collected for the O'Connor sisters less than 48 hours after the fire that took their father. It helps you realize how lucky you are with your own family and how you value your family around the holidays. So giving does make you feel a little better that you can help someone maybe establish a little bit more of that normalcy in their life. For now, we're told the two girls will be living with their aunt in Elkhart. Obviously, these two young women have been through the worst life has to offer the past couple of months. If you would like to help them out, you can do so at any Wells Fargo bank where you can donate to the O'Connor Memorial Fund.